Welcome to In the Kitchen with Just Keep Rolling. I'm Katie. I'm Ellen. If you're watching us right now, you've probably heard us on our weekly podcast of the same name, Just Keep Rolling, a Harry Potter book movie compare and contrast podcast. As you can see, I'm the Gryffindor host. And I'm the Slytherin host. Every month we do a cooking show where we go into foods that were mentioned in the Harry Potter series. For this episode, we're going to be creating what we imagined the hamburgers that Harry and Hagrid ate at the Hamburger Bar, if you read Philosopher's Stone, or the Hamburger Restaurant, if you read Sorcerer's Stone. Except, of course, we're making cheeseburgers. Yeah, because who doesn't love cheese? Well, yeah. Cheese is awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that being said, let's just keep rolling. Yeah! You, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, much better. Green is definitely more your color. It's just felt dirty in yours. <laughs> To go along with our hamburgers slash cheeseburgers, we are going to be making some oven baked chips. We're making food for about six people, so I've already cut seven medium sized Yukon potatoes and I'm just going to prepare the last one for you guys to see. So I always start slicing it in half. And I'm gonna cut these in about half inch size sections. to make our fries slash chips. And just add them to the bowl. Once you have the potatoes all cut, I should have just put them straight in this pot. I'm gonna add them to this pot. I'm gonna fill this with water so that I can bring it over to the stove to come to a boil. We're going to bring this water to a boil and let the potatoes blanch for about five minutes. And while those potatoes are blanching, we're going to go ahead and get our meat mixture set up. We have two pounds of ground beef here. And to that, we are going to add my new favorite thing in the entire world, which is um, my spice mixture. After me, of course. Sure. <laughs> this is, a, and it smells so good. It does smell it's good. So, oh my God. I've been sniffing it all evening. So this is paprika, brown sugar, dried minced onion, salt, cracked black pepper, garlic powder, dried basil, dry Worcestershire, which is my new favorite thing that I've discovered, honestly. As some of you know from our previous episode, I loves me some Worcestershire. Just a little bit. Just a bit. Uh, and then there's also some dry mustard powder in here as well. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a tablespoon for every pound of meat, basically. So we're gonna do two tablespoons. And you just eyeball it and just mix it in. We're gonna do one and then mix and then we'll do another one. I'm not gonna lie, I still don't like mixing meat with my hands. Should've brought gloves. I should've. Cause I don't mind. I just get my hands right in there. Then why aren't you doing this? Because I'm doing the fries. Oh, uh, well. Do you want a hand? No, it's okay. Yeah. Ready? All right, whoop. We're gonna do a little bit more because it's really, it's a nice mixture, guys. It has such a good flavor to it. And given the option to add more Worcestershire sauce Always to it. anything, it's yeah. obviously it goes for the powder as well. Um, I also saw a recipe where they added dried soy sauce as well, Ooh. which, I mean, I wouldn't mind that either, but that's, dried soy sauce is a little bit hard to find. Um, I mean, you can always also add them as wet ingredients. I prefer not to, just because that messes with the texture of the burger itself. And also, you don't want to do too much with this, because the more you handle the hamburger, the tougher it's going to be. So you're just gonna mix it until it's nice and combined, basically. Um, and we are gonna make six burgers out of this. All right, so I've made five of our patties. This is our last one to make. And it's just shape them into balls and depress them, basically. She can't say it I can't. laughing. She I can't. can't. It's, it's not, you have no idea how many times I've edited that out of the podcast. If you guys listen 
to the podcast, you know she doesn't edit it out very often, and I still say it a ton. So, okay. You want to make them a little bit flatter. They are going to puff up a bit. Um, and one thing that I've discovered is that once you have them formed, if you push down in the center here, um, make a depression with your thumb a bit, and I found out that that helps them from puffing up too much. So there we have our burgers. So I have the potatoes spread out on these paper towels and I'm going to let them sit here for about 10 minutes so they can dry out. This is going to help them get crispier in the oven. Our potatoes have dried out pretty well, so I'm going to add them to a bowl and give them their own seasoning of my special blend. It's not really my special blend. Uh, it's actually something my husband and I do Blue Apron and every time they send us the weeknight hero spice blend we get really excited because it lives up to its name so i figured out what was in that and i made my own version of that so i'm gonna do you mind putting those potatoes in here for me while i get mm -hmm. that so this spice blend has equal parts smoked paprika onion powder garlic powder and parsley and I'm just going to start by drizzling a little bit of olive oil over the potatoes and sprinkling that seasoning all over it. You can just use as much as you feel like it needs. Give it a little sit to get them all nice and coated. Oh my god, can you smell that? That smells very good. I love this stuff. Maybe put down uh, barbecue rub too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a good, and it's so easy. All right. Those seem pretty well yeah. coated. Looks good. I'm gonna spread them out on this pan. Well, the ones in the middle didn't get as well coated, but it's okay. It's okay. They may not all fit here, so I'm just gonna get as many as I can. I've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees, and I'm gonna put these in for about 45 minutes, but can you, while I wash off my fingers, can you add some sea salt and pepper for me? This is mm -hmm. just to taste. Whoop, that was way too much. Oh, we're gonna have some peppery yeah. fries in the middle there. <laughs> that was my bad. How's that? Lovely. Lovely. We're gonna let those bake for 45 minutes. So we have our hamburger buns here and I literally just brushed them with some butter and we're gonna put them in our pan. Hear that nice sizzle. Because everybody loves some toasted buns with their burgers. At least I do. Me too. <laughs> They don't take very long, just a few minutes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start our burgers. Uh, can you hand me the olive oil, please? Olive her oil? The olive oil, thank you. Just a little bit of a drizzle, because I mean, there's enough fat in the burgers themselves so you don't need a whole lot. Spread out a bit. These are rather large burgers so we're gonna need to take them in batches kind of. That and I did not know I didn't have a large enough pan for these large burgers. So we're improvising because we're hungry. <laughs> Listen to that sizzle. Though. A nice sizzle. So you're going to want to cook these on medium high heat, depending on your thickness, depending on the kind of meat you use even. They could take anywhere from five to eight minutes per side. But you don't want to flip them too early. You don't want to keep flipping them. You want to flip them once, put the cheese on and be done with them. You'll see the doneness start to creep up on the side here. When it gets about 
halfway through the side of the burger. That's when you want to flip. See how we're doing here? Oh, a nice crust on that burger. You can use whatever kind you want, but we are using cheddar. lid on to steam the cheese a little bit make it nice and melty because everybody loves some melty cheese so now our cheese is nice and melty look at that guys that is delicious and we're gonna put that on the plate It is best if you let it sit and rest for a minute or two to keep all the juices in. Beautiful. So the oven just beeped for the fries. We are about to pull them out, but I just wanted to let you know that we ended up increasing the heat to 500 degrees for the last five minutes, and they were in there for 50 minutes total. They smell really good. They look like they could be a little bit more crispy, mm -hmm. but that's up to you how you prefer your fries. We are hungry. We're just this hungry, right? guys. We're going to eat them just like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the kitchen with Just Keep Rolling. We are starving, mm -hmm. so we're going to go eat this. If you want to keep hanging out with us, you can find our podcast on any of your podcasting platforms. And you can also find us on social media. We're on Facebook at JKR Podcast and Instagram and Twitter at Just Keep Rolling. If you like what you saw here and want to help us make more content like this, you can go to patreon.com slash just keep rolling and it'll also get you some extra perks. As always, any support you can give is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. We hope you see us again. I'm Katie. I'm Ellen. And in the meantime, just, just keep, keep rolling. rolling. Thank you so much. No, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna say first. You wanna cut again? No. No, just keep rolling. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you